Hey everyone, it's Scott. I'm getting ready to paint this 73 Trans Am, Buccaneer Red, the original color. We spent the past uh, two weeks almost stripping it and body working it. Quite a bit of body work on it. We've already stripped the doors and the hood. I want to get the body out of the way. So what we're going to do, or I'm getting ready to seal this. It's 8 a.m. Getting ready to seal it. I'll base coat it and clear coat it this morning. And then we'll uh, machine sand it, wet sand it, and buff it. So we're going to do the door jams and the fender edges at the same time, along with the trunk edges. So no balance. Customer brought a brand new one. And we'll be doing a lot of small parts, the spoiler, the scoop, uh, the doors separately, of course, the hood and deck, and uh, a lot of other, the flares, a lot of other small pieces. So I just want to show this to you before I actually do the paintwork on it, so you can get a good idea what it looks like beforehand. So we took this rear panel off. Should be very nice once it's done. So it had a ton of paint on it. The hood and bumper and the right fender had been replaced before. So I will uh, do another segment soon with it all painted. Okay, I wanted to stop and show you guys a few things. Uh, first off on these uh, older Trans Ams, the plastic bumpers, uh, they all shrink. So what we did is mold this in a lot better. Left a nice little gap there. They came out real nice. Also, you'll notice that I sealed this car. I sealed pretty much everything for all you painters out there. Uh, you want to make sure you seal, mainly because today's paints are so transparent that you uh, it makes the base coat cover even nicer. So what you want to do is find you a base coat that's pretty much the same shade as the, or the sealer, the same shade as the base coat that you're doing. In this case, I did a light gray, so I mixed it. So the base coat is covering it very, very good. It saves on product, because as you know, paint is not cheap. Deltron, five quarts, $1,200. So we are using Matrix on this, which is a little bit cheaper. I believe it was like $750 for five quarts. So the sealer really makes it cover easier, which equates to less material. So plus, if you got some uh, like gray primer spots, original red primer spots, black spots that are showing through, it makes the red extremely difficult, or most paints, it makes it very difficult for it, for you to cover it. So it takes more material, and plus there's a bigger chance, especially like on the lower panels, it makes it a lot easier to uh, see through it out in the sun. So you want to make sure you get it covered. So this makes it even easier. You want to make sure you get good coverage. The sealer in the same shade really helps it out. Like I said, on this one, I used like a very light gray, like a yellow, I'd use almost a white. A medium blue metallic, I would use like a medium gray. For a dark blue, dark red, you almost want a black or even use a black sealer. So it really helps you out. So it makes, makes life easier too. Some more tips for you guys. Low cars, you want to jack up. So this one we jacked up probably about six inches or so. Gives you better clearance, easier to get the rockers, the bottom of the rockers. Nothing's worse than having a nice paint job and the bottom of the rockers or the rockers are dry, the bottom of the doors are dry. So low cars, I always jack up. So it makes it easier, even though, even in this one, I still get on my hands and knees to, to paint. Uh, also, a lot of times I don't do this, but on this particular car, what I did, I went around and did the hard to get places first. Just makes the paint job easier to do. It's already a hard enough, hard enough paint job. 
So it's good to get the uh, hard to get places, you know, the rockers, the bottom of the quarters, bottom of the fenders, fender edges. This one I did the complete front bumper. Got underneath real good. So it just makes it easier. All I got to do is the bigger surfaces here and I'll be good for clear. So also back to the sealer, when you got a lot of parts off the car, Try to make enough sealer so you can do, use the exact same shade of sealer underneath this because if I ran out of this sealer and went with like a medium gray, it could show, uh, throw the shade of red off. So I got like a half a quart. I, I mix like a quart and a half on this. I got like a half a quart left, which should be plenty to do the rest of the parts. So also... We got like five quarts of this base coat. What you wanna do is, before you even start painting, mix all the paint together. So you wanna make sure whoever mixed it, if they're off a little bit, you're gonna have two shades. So if you run out of one can and you start the other and the shade's off, you're screwed. So right off the bat, mix both cans together, just swish them back and forth. Usually three, four, five times does it, and then you know each can is the exact same shade. So I just wanted to point those out to you. Uh, painting the parts off makes it a little difficult. Uh, this is Buccaneer Red, so it's a little bit easier to do. The shade is uh, going to be extremely close, if not dead on. You get into your metallics, and that was a good tip I just gave you about saving some sealer. You want to spray the exact same way. You want the exact same shade sealer, because once you put these on, you see so many show trucks and show cars that the panels are different shades. You don't want to, you want to try to eliminate that. So the more you're consistent with all the spraying and your sealer, the better off you're going to be once you hang these panels. So next segment, I will have this clear coated. I got to finish the base coating and then I'll clear coat it. I'm using Shopline JC6700, which is a high solids clear. Uh, I love it. It's very, very slow drying, especially with slow hardener. It usually takes about four to five hours for it to cure. So usually once I spray it, I'm done. So I usually, uh, that's it for the day. So anyway, next segment will be this uh, nice shiny Buccaneer Red Trans Am. So we'll see you soon. Okay, it's 1030. I just got done clear coating. I think it came out real nice. A little more dirt than what I thought I would but uh, there's older cars they usually have hidden places you know maybe under this hinge the uh, uh, reveal molding track just all kinds of places could have been a little bit of dirt but we're gonna machine sand that wet sand this car so be nice and slick once we're done so just want to show you the end result got in the jam real good as good as I could inside the scoop there. Got the lip real good. You can see how that came out. Came out real nice. So we still got a lot of pieces left to do in this car, but at least we got the main body out of the way. I wanted to get this done first, so once we get the rest of the pieces done, the doors, the hood, the deck, we could start hanging those. Instead of having, if we did those first, they'd be sitting around painted, so. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a painter and you viewed this, thanks for watching. Be sure and uh, give, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you would, if you're a customer. Feel free to go to our website, Attitude Custom Painting. And uh, we have an estimate form on there if you're interested in doing uh, motorcycles, cars, things like that. This is one of the bigger jobs. I, I don't know. I, I don't have the room. I got a 2,500 square foot shop. This is about as big as I'd go as far as job wise. So anyway, go ahead and fill out the form and uh, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, looking forward to uh, 
hopefully doing a job for you and uh, thumbs up and subscribe please thanks for watching